Hey guys, um, hope you're having a good day and today I'll be showing you how to design a modern um, chat list in Figma and without wasting much of your time, I'll just get into it. So the first thing I like to do is bring in my status bar frame um, over here and yeah, I have also created um, a grid which I love to use so I'll just turn that on the code is um, I'm using column grid 11 for the count and 25 for margin so this will help me create something really good for this tutorial so I'll just get right into it so um, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of my background I'm going to give it a linear uh, color it's already in linear so I'm going to just call out the color. Um, so for the down part, I have it as FFF for white, another shade of white, F6, F6, F6 for the top. And yeah, so we have that for our background. Now the next thing I'm going to be doing is to create our elements. And yeah, I'll be using um, I'll be using the golden, sorry, I'll be using um, the auto layout to create this. So I'm going to bring in my circle, which is um, over at the top, and for the circle it's um, 48, 48 by 48 for the width and height. So I'm just going to align it here, and I'm also going to bring in my text. So I'm just going to grab one of these texts, I'll drag the one outside, and I'm going to change the name to Davio White. Yeah, and this is going to be 16. Yeah, 16, and I'm going to bring it over here. So I'm, I'm going to duplicate it. Let me zoom into this. Duplicate it and type a message. Hello, sir. I just sent an email. Okay, so I'm going to make this um, regular. This is semi semi bold so i'll make this regular and i'm going to make it 14. yeah so 14 would be for this for the message and then 16 for the name um yeah so over here I'm just going to place that over there and now the next step for me is to create the time uh so I, when i sent this message so i'm going to create this time using the down parts and I'm going to title it 14 minutes and just place it here. Yes. So the next step, I'm bringing in another over. I'll just duplicate this, holding Alt and change it to 14. So I've changed the height and width to 14. And I'm going to align it here like so. Nice. And yeah, I'm almost done with what I'm creating. I'm just going to make some adjustments to it. Um, yeah, so we're going to use auto layout for all of this, so don't 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 bother about that. Um, next, I'm going to bring in this chart. It's 28. The size is 28, and I'm going to bring in this other one over here. Sorry, that was a mistake. So I have my profile picture and my um, icon so I'm just going to take out the auto layout I have created and just apply another auto layout to it yeah so like so and yeah another auto layout to all three of these and center them nice so this is going to be our flow for the rest of the um, items we're going to be creating for this tutorial and yeah we're going to be creating um, the chat list and it's also going to have tags yet yeah, so for now let's get into creating the chat list um, proper so with this I'm going to change this to an image come over here I'm using the memojis um, plugin and yeah I've changed that I'm going to change this color to a tag color over here um, this is not a tag color actually um, more like an indicator color and it's this pink uh, yeah, so that's our indicator color and um, that's all I need to do for that part. 
Now I'm going to make all of this, turn this into auto layout. I'll select this tool, auto layout with this, uh, this, this and this, auto layout, auto layout with this, and then finish it up with this auto layout. And yes, yeah, center that, nice. So we have this, and this one space here is so it can guide us um, towards what we'll be creating because we're going to be adding borders to it, a 16 pixel um, width and a 12 for the height. So I'm just going to do that. Come over here and change this to 16, and then I'm going to type in 12. I just center that and it flows. You can see it flows on our lines, on our grid. And yeah, that's exactly what I was aiming for. Yeah, we have hello, so I'm just going to, oh, sorry about that. Let's just leave it so I don't have to start recreating things. So I'm just going to give this a border for now so we can see what we've done. And I'm going to change the color of this. I'm just going to give it a 50% black. Yeah, so uh, let's do, you know what, let's do 60%. Yeah, so 60% works best for me and um, this isn't correct uh, separate that and take it backward and apply auto layouts nice nice and soft and so we have this and we're going to change the radius to 20 yeah i'm using this black so that you can see exactly what we're doing as i proceed with the rest of the process and um, yeah so Having that, we're going. The stroke is going to actually change into something else. So I'm going to apply a linear gradient. I'm going to give it a fill first, white, and then a linear gradient. And I'm going to just position my grid like this. And for the down parts, I'm going to give it a hundred percent. The the color code is F C F C F T and it's going to be 100% and I'm also going to do the same for the top the same color for the top FC FC FD I'm going to change that to 80% yeah nice so right now I'm going to just turn off our grid so we can see what we're doing sorry about that and um, yeah we have this but we're not done I'm still going to apply um, um like this i don't need to even apply um what's it called i don't need to apply the drop shadow but i'm still just going to apply the drop shadow on the background blur so i'm going to select this and just come over here to the effects and add a background blur now the background blur is going to be 24 percent we just type that in 24 percent i'll add a drop shadow to it with a y and x as it's at uh zero and then the color i'm going to give you a color of o f o f o f now mind you not o but zero f zero f zero f and there we have it i'm going to change it to 10 percent and give it a blow of 64. yeah nice 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 this helps separate it from the background um yeah we had this before now we have this so yeah it's it's more better than before and now we have this i'm just going to drag it down a bit and we're going to create the text for the tags so holding alt i'll move this upward and just type um mutual mutuals and yeah i'm going to apply an auto layout to this and for this mutual our um width and height will be eight and four so i'm going to give it a width of eight and a height of four yeah and then give it a color our color is over here so i'm just going to use the eyedropper tool to pick it and that's our tag color over there 0071 ff and then the actual color i'm going to change that to white like so so our white is on 60 percent so we just make it 100 and yeah we have this change the radius to 40 so we have a, a well-rounded um, sorry a well-rounded circle 
or radius over there and then I'm going to reduce this. Now there's a way to do this with auto layout that it flows very well. I'm going to be doing that in the next video. Um, so just move this towards the right so it flows with the text. So it flows with this text and just take it up for the bit. Yeah, like that. And here we have it. Now for the icon, I'm just going to give it um, a few, which is white. And then I give it a stroke. The stroke is FC, FC, FD at 50%. Yeah, so I, I hope that would help you um, with the rest of this tutorial. So we're, we're actually done with this. And yes, we are done with this, almost done. So we're going to give this a blur. We're going to give um, that a blur. And we're also going to give. Um, the tag let's give the tag a blow first so come downwards uh, select effect drop shadow change the color I have the color over at my color panel so I'm just going to pick the tag color yes and we're going to have that and yes we're going to change the opacity to 20% and the blow is going to be at 12 the y axis at 0 and the x axis at um, the Y as we as 4, X as is at 0 and yeah that would be that for this the color code for that drop shadow is 1E47BO yeah so with that I would also do the same for this I'm actually going to give this the same blur um, the same blur color and yeah so effects choose the color so I just choose the color over here Sorry, I think I have a color different with that. Yeah, so it's the same color. I'm going to give it the same color. And then I'm going to change the 100% um, to 28. So this is going to be 28% of blur of 16. The X and Y axis, leave it like so. And yeah, we have this and very soft and yeah we are done we're done with this so all you have to do for me i will just group this and then duplicate give it a spacing of 31 uh no i think i'll move it in a bit and auto layout and now i can give it multiple auto layout selecting this ctrl d ctrl d till the end yeah, so if you do this, you know, this could work more like um, a bridge. Yeah, so we have we have this. Yeah, and that's pretty much how you can go about designing a modern chat list in Figma. If you enjoyed this, so I'm just going to move this up for a bit and just duplicate this to create that effect of the flow inside. So if you if you actually enjoyed watching this, please like and support um, this channel by subscribing. I'm going to bring in more tutorials. The more I hit 100 more subscribers, the more um, tutorials I bring. Um, so in the last video, we were at 500 plus subscribers, but right now, I think we're at 700 plus. So thank you guys for subscribing and I will see you in the next one. And remember, I'm waiting for you. Hey, don't forget to subscribe.